Hey everyone, this is Sanjay here. In this video, I am going to share my experience with 8 year old Hackintosh on which I have installed macOS Catalina using open core bootloader. I am a Windows user since I was a kid. I do not get any chance to try macOS. So I used open core to install macOS on this machine and I have been using this machine for more than 5 months. Also, I am using open core since the 0.5.7 open core version is released open core is an awesome bootloader for hacking dashing if you want to try i will link my hacking touch playlist for reference and i will also share the guide which i followed in the description below i enjoyed using mac os yes it is better than windows in many cases for example it has a good user interface but there are some areas to improvement Unlike in Windows, there are no force updates. I am able to find open source alternative of paid apps easily for macOS. The user interface is simple and easy to learn but there are some things to learn here and there. I will talk more about those things later. If you are a gamer, Mac does not have many games like in Windows but if you are working as a developer, creator, engineer, artist or enthusiast who want to try macOS, it won't let you down. Surprisingly, I can see a few things done better in macOS rather than in Windows like Apple Virtual Assistant Siri. I know none of us uses those. To be honest, the Cortana is a piece of crap which is an implementation of Microsoft for sake of having a virtual assistant while Google and Apple has one. It is not usable at least for me by the way let me know how you people feel about this virtual assistant in the comment section below also i have noticed that the action center in windows has been implemented because mac os have one similar and it is called as notification center which holds the widgets and some notification from apps multitasking is very good once you got used to it i have a old low-end machine but mac os is quite responsive once the application is loaded into memory. Safari is already running in the background. When I hit that, it will just open from the memory. The memory management is so good in the operating system. Anyhow, let's discuss some of the pros and cons which I personally have encountered while using macOS. I have collected 10 pros and 6 cons. Let me elaborate you individually. First of all, the user interface is simple as I said earlier and there is something called Launchpad which is a like app drawer in Android and it contains every app you install. Also, you can download apps directly from the app store uh, like smartphone. It is very easy to download and install. Anyone can install Mac app from the uh, app store. Speaking of the apps, open source apps needed to be downloaded from the website like in Windows or Android. There is a thing called Gatekeeper which holds the non-app store apps from being installed onto the Mac OS but it is very easy to bypass. To bypass it, we need to right click on the app which we need to run and click open it will bypass the gatekeeper and runs the app the next thing is the security and privacy features built into the mac os this is the system preferences panel by the way system preferences is a fancy name for settings in mac os but the apps can use only the permission which is granted by the user and while installing an application it will prompt for the password during installation. Some apps like OBS and VMware need some extensive permissions which we need to provide those apps to run properly. Usually we need to enable some accessibility features and uh, security and privacy features to make them work in macOS. But they work great in macOS, no issues with that. The third is called Spotlight. Spotlight is similar to Windows search feature which we can access anywhere by holding command and space. As you can see this is the Spotlight search bar. If I need to open any of the specific application just I can type that. For example I am going to open Excel. As you can see it took some time and grabbed everything related to the name Excel. Some pro users use something called Alfred which is a paid service but uh, I don't need any paid service so I am sticking with the spotlight search. Uh, then the next one will be the apps can't update itself unlike in windows if you install adobe products in windows it will automatically update it and if you have chrome browser installed in your uh, windows machine it will automatically update without any concern from you uh, this is not uh, happening in mac os if happening we can toggle the auto update off the next thing will be the operating system updates are also not forced 
it will show the notification for each update when we find some time we can uh, update the operating system but unlike windows mac os update doesn't break things which are working properly and uh, I saw a few blot wires here and there but uh, let me quickly show you that and there is an app called chess which I don't use which any of the mac os users will not use but that is there compared to windows this is uh, far better windows will automatically notify you for candy crash and uh, some piece of crap in the start menu this is far better than that and the next one is the safari safari is a great browser compared to windows edge browser and the explorer who uses explorer in 2020 okay apart from that to secure the files we have file vault and i didn't enable this in the hacking touch machine i don't use file vaults and i need i don't need any security feature for my files i'm the only one using this machine the mac os recovery works and it can restore operating systems at least without the data while i haven't heard anyone saying that they have recovered windows using the windows recovery the windows recovery is awful and it, and it will show the dots rolling for days and days it will never recover that is my experience that is very awful and i have also noticed that quicktime has built in screen recording feature which is uh, very handy now many of you guys may think this guy is a uh, windows hater uh, frankly speaking mac os have more good things i haven't used any paid services from apple so far also i'm not a huge user of i services like i messages or facetime and also i don't own any apple products and i and i haven't owned any apple product technically speaking i do not own this operating system i'm just uh, using it apple owns mac os right okay apart from that Uh, here let's discuss some of the cons which i faced and uh, there are not much downsides for the mac os so i can hardly find six downsides in mac os but most of them are fixed by using uh, third party apps the first one is the window management window management is horrible icon arrangements are awful let me quickly show you my downloads folder currently uh, it is organized i am extracting the proper tree once it is extracted it will place the extracted file on top of the zip file this is very annoying and i can't fix that so i switch the view i will just use the list view which is better rather than using that uh, icon view for window management i am using rectangle this is an open source software which is free to download uh, if you want to try this just head over to google and type rectangle it will automatically show up and i have also configured my hotkeys as you can see uh, these are my few hotkeys to arranging the windows uh, like in windows operating system the next one will be the security and privacy feature i can't say having tight security and privacy feature is a con but mac os is uh, good at that i really appreciate that i encounter many pop ups while installing vmware which needs access to disks and many hardware uh, pop ups are not properly managed it will show many dialog box and it will clutter whole screen i am using a low resolution screen so i am annoyed by that if you have a higher resolution screen you may not encounter those problem and the those permissions we need to go into the accessibility separately and security and privacy tab separately to go allow the permissions as you can see here screen recording permission i granted this one for obs and for vmware it, it needs full disk access let's move on to the next one this is just my personal thing i was used to the windows the long task bar it will just fill the whole bottom part of the monitor so in mac os the dock annoys me for example i will just turn off the auto hide feature in the dock as you can see here it is showing the dock if i open the browser i don't like this empty space and this empty space uh, that makes me think i am wasting any screen real estate so i toggled auto hide feature on if i go to the bottom it will take some time to open up the dock that sometimes annoys me uh, just this is my personal preference let us move to the next one changing the wallpaper changing the wallpaper in mac os is a pain we need to add the picture to the photos app to change that for example for example let's go to the downloads see i want this one as my wallpaper to do that to do that i need to go to the app drawer 
the launch pad and i need to open the photos app then i need to add it to the photos app and then i i need to go back to see i have already added to it and i need to go back to the settings app the system preferences app by the way then go to the desktop and screen saver and then i can find the wallpaper to change that this is quite annoying compared to windows but uh, this is mac i don't know whether it will be changed in the later versions of mac os or not okay uh, this is a con and also there is no native support for connecting android devices or to access file from the android phones i found it uh, annoying because i am a android user to fix that i need to download an app from the android website to make that one work this is a trap to buy an uh, iphone which works seamlessly with mac os the next issue i can't say this is an issue i think this is specifically occurred in my machine this is completely away from the apple's thing because i am using open core based on my usage like browsing the internet photo and video editing for a quick reference i am using gimp for photo editing and davinci resolve for video editing i have only a 1080p camera so i will edit only 1080p videos there is not much issue on the operating system aspect of things since i am using unsupported cpu i will get a freeze here and there if that happens i need to power off the computer manually and i need to turn back on once it is rebooted and i will be greeted by a report which shows the log that the kernel panic occurred due to the cpu is the reason for the freeze i have disabled the sleep to prevent that issue and i haven't experienced any such kernel panics whatsoever anyhow those are my pros and cons which i experienced by using mac os for nearly 5 months i have solved many uh, many other cons by using third party apps and then i am planning to move to linux leaving the proprietary software but i am sticking to this because i need a separate machine to try out and customize linux for myself i i love to use open source software i am planning to make many videos about linux and many other open source softwares i know the raspberry pi is a better buy for that but i need to edit videos so i need an x86 platform to do that i can buy an old laptop or a desktop but here in india used things hardly enter the used market and most of the olx ads are spam i don't know whether the ebay shipping is possible since the flipkart bought ebay dot in and shut it down the only thing i can access is ebay dot com which is us website the shipping are very high so i can't uh, ship those things from there if you have any idea let me know in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed this video if so hit the like button or the other button is also okay and drop a comment so that i can improve myself in making the videos if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching